GBP USD has shown a stronger weekly gains here and now close the week at 1.184 levels. Now what to expect next week? Is it going to continue in this bullish channel or can we see a retracement from here? And yes, a rise above 1.2 can be seen. What to expect next week? Which position we should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Last week we in fact saw that lower highs and lower lows are seen and any break beyond 1.15 certainly will bring more bullishness precisely that has happened it has failed to sustain the lower levels below this zone and trade it profitably i hope you all profited now for next week we will decide the strategy with the help of charts and indicators towards the end i will give you these those levels do watch in the end do listen to it carefully note down the levels and do not forget to like share subscribe and comment as Yes, you can keep yourself updated pressing the bell icon also because I do share my daily analysis on major global markets and commodities on daily basis and the levels definitely will help you decide the trade. So take, press the bell icon, do like, share, subscribe and comment. Let's start. Now see on the weekly charts we can find it has shown the reversal there and after that GBP USD has traded in this bullish channel. The lower end of this channel, the support levels on this channel is somewhere here at 113 levels for 1.13 levels still the time it trades above 1.13 you can consider that there is little bullishness at the same time one must not forget that 1.18 1.24 level this zone is going to be in good resistance for gbp usd only if it trades above 1.24 you can expect that the next target is going to be somewhere here at, here at 1.3 levels but let's see what can be expected see it is still trying to trade in this bearish channel and precisely this is an expanding bearish channel if you consider this as highs this is an expanding increasingly bearish channel and hence you have to stay cautious look if you connect the dots here you'll find that most of the candles are trying to trade in this hence yes if you see it trading below 1.178 again next week you can take a sell position and you can expect that probably there could be a retracement which can be seen 1.15 is definitely a major major support and then 1.13 levels and only if it trades below 1.13 you can expect that there could be little more bearishness taking it till towards 1.1 1.08 levels you need to be stay alert of these levels any move beyond 1.185 levels you can definitely stay long there expect 1.2 beyond 1.2 you can expect 1.24 levels which are going to be the definitely stronger resistance so take your trades now let's have a look at the daily chart this is just on the weekly charts and on the daily charts it is showing you a breakout here but remember this fact it has come out of the resistance there at 1.15 it has come out of the resistance there at 1.18 also and now trading bullish see this is the first green candle after the breakout you can see it was trading in this channel and it is trading in the expanding bullish channel here so on the downside even if it reverses 1.15 should be a very good support also look at the candle side look at this candle and look at this candle the bullishness is certainly diminished here hence i will wait for it to break past 1.188 1.19 1 zone so that it can achieve 1.2 1 1.2 definitely very good resistance there be cautious of these levels at 1.885 1.19 levels so beyond 1.2 certainly it can cause or bring more bullishness taking it till towards 1.2 to 1.24 zone this is one part of it on the daily charts. Second, you can see this is trying to trade with this increasing bullishness. 1.2 is going to be certainly good resistance on the upside. 1.22 and 1.12 levels on the downside are going to be good support. Now look at the month. On the monthly charts, lower highs, lower lows are seen. And see the last two candles here. The, see this has come out of this bearish engulfing. And now this is given a breakout. Certainly it can try to attempt and achieve 1.2 levels and then this is going to be the stronger and tougher resistance at 1.2324 if it breaks past this it can also see 1.25 but then you have to stay alert there is a limit to the rise and hence extreme bullishness also brings you extreme fall there is a reversal which can be seen 1.2 cannot be denied 1.2 can be achieved 1.222324 could be achieved and then then the next resistance should be here at 1.2 first resistance here at 1.222324 and then 1.2526 only beyond this consider it to be bullish out there else it can again reverse on the downside so this is on the charts let's have a look with the help of indicators here what are the indicators are suggesting and if you look at the daily charts 
on the daily charts it is trading outside the bollinger bands and hence you can find out the previous candle f- failed to sustain the bullish momentum and it gave a very small a smaller size candle there also look at this it is trading above the 2050 100 period moving average there is a crossover between the 20 and 50 period moving average indicating near term bullishness there and yes it is trading outside bollinger bands indicates that there could be a pullback here on the downside Directional movement is moderately bullish. Stochastic leaching to the overbought level. The MACD is divergent and bullish here. It indicates probably we can see further more bullishness. RSI looking upwards. And if you look at the weekly charts, on the weekly charts, it traded outside the Bollinger Bands, got a stronger pullback here. Now it is trading a comfortable trading above the 20 weeks average, indicating little bullishness. And still, there is a lot much move on the upside which needs to be covered for GBP USD. Directional movement is bearish, it is looking to converge here. The stock stochastic is near to overbought levels. It is rather entered into overbought levels. You can find out whenever it is bearish and achieved overbought levels, it is seen a good sump. This is happening after long that GBPUSD has come to overbought levels and hence we have to remain cautious. Now look at the MACD, this crossover is taking place after long and at the extremes out there we saw this that it has achieved the bottom out there possibility of a reversal exist and possibly we have seen this reversal now you can see that it can try to either pull it little upwards with a sideways move and then cross over again for the sell here the rsi2 has come out of the oversold zone and now looking upwards indicating bullishness and if you look at the monthly charts on the monthly charts likewise it has come out of the bullinger bands it was trading at the bottom oversold since last two months now it is trading comfortable possibility of it trading with bullish momentum exists the directional movement is bullish and trying to bearish and trying to converge here looking forward to a bullish crossover the stochastic which was trading oversold now looking upwards in, indicates that probably it can sustain the bullish momentum the MACD is bearish and it can cool down a bit before it tries to continue with the bearish bias the RSI which was trading oversold most important it is looking upwards it has come out of the oversold zone probably it can sustain the bullish momentum before it looks forward to any drop there any crash there now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for us to define the strategy and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably where you can trade any index any forex any commodity or even crypto these strategies are applicable to each and every instrument and yes you can see this we are analyzing diverse instrument class and definitely profiting and getting accurate results on each and every asset class so yes if you want to learn this art you can join my mentorship batch starting 28th of november be a part of it and definitely you can benefit in the next new year because this is the last batch for this year the next batch is going to be only in year 2023 and if you join this batch you can be a profitable trader and decide that you will not lose in year 2023 from right from the very first day join this batch reach out to me for more details my telegram channel id my telegram personal id and my email id are mentioned in the channel description if you go to the about section of our youtube channel you will find the contact details reach out to me for further processing also you can be part of my signals group where we trade diverse instruments and asset class on day-to-day basis and gather thousands of pips and points without risking anything reach out again for details now next week if you see let's decide the levels here if you see it trading above 1.1856 you can buy there above 1.1856 i will look forward to 1.19 levels directly beyond 1.19 the next target is 1.1928 and then you can expect 1.1972 if it breaks beyond this directly we are looking at 1.2 levels very very strong resistance at 1.2 levels exist you have to be cautious in between this zone even if it tries to rise there is going to be certain resistance at these levels so first 1.19 has to be broken and then 1.2 level has to be broken for it to sustain the bullishness else it can reverse any point of time beyond this 1.206 and then beyond that 1.21 levels should be seen which are going to be a very good resistance zone so take your trades on the downside where to sell yes you can sell there at 1.18 itself below 1.18 you can remain short you can expect 1.176 then 1.172 levels below that 1.168 and 
1.165 can be seen below that you can expect a further drop which might in fact take it till towards 1.155 1.15 1 the next major support and then 1.14 1.13 levels to be seen now till 1.13 do not consider this as bearish it can again bounce back hence you have to remain cautious of 1.13 1.2 zone and above 1.2 certainly more bullishness can be seen taking it till towards 1.2 to 1.24 zone take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the tailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you